You know, I, I have a, a, a very serious theory, and I, and I think it's a sound theory, that a lack of adequate protein absorption is probably one of the largest factors in aging uh, that you can look at throughout a lifetime. Because a lot of what aging is about is cellular turnover in the various tissues, be it skin, your internal organs, your brain cells, that doesn't quite happen because there isn't enough quality protein on board for, for those cells to complete those functions at the time they need to complete them. Obviously, there's a lot of other uh, constituents involved in that, hormone levels and so on, but if you consider that protein is, is ubiquitous in all metabolic functions in the body, meaning it's critical to the function and the carry out of pretty much every metabolic function there is. If you remove your bones and your water, you're pretty much just a bag of protein in all kinds of different forms, all sorts of different uh, proteinous uh, configurations. You know, your skin, your hair, your nails, your, your, uh, the fluid that lines uh, and lubricates your joints, even your bones. Uh, the way bones are, are formed requires a, a fair amount of good quality protein to happen properly because bones form a scaffolding that is a protein. It, it, it is a type of protein. And then that scaffolding is filled in with mineral content that forms the solid bone. But if you can't lay the scaffolding down, you can't mend or grow new bone. So it's, it's um, it, in my mind, I would say that protein is the currency of life.